yeah, we spent quite a while, but, but these are like little, like to the Holy Spirit it's all the same, to the ego mind, the mind is, is caught up in time and space, it, it believes in differences and it's got to be taught the sameness of things. And so, assignments are, are seeming teaching learning opportunities that seem to have a beginning and seem to have an end, and they're temporary. But it's, they're more than like we could say like casual encounters, even though they have the same purpose as the casual encounters, and the same purpose as the long, super long term relationships, there's definitely a sense of being brought together to serve a higher good, which, which is clearing away, you know, the, the judgments and the, the false concepts. So we've been talking about them and all their little nuances. When you have a group of people that come together from different parts of the world, there tend to be these nuances of people that are, feel sometimes unexplainably drawn together to certain ones for a period of time. Uh, which can, can go on for hours or days or weeks or months or years. Um, but, but they're very, very purposeful in that way. And, uh, and in one sense we could say that they're, they're not actually special in the sense that they do have the aspects of specialness, which is time and space and, and there can even be certain attractions and things involved with them, but but the reason, the, the purpose for them is not specialness. Mm -hmm. The purpose for them is healing. Mm -hmm. And these are vibrational connections w that are used by the Spirit. Just they're like symbols that are temporarily used until they're no longer needed. Until the mind just is in a state of mind where it doesn't need them. And the ego has all this, this thing going on always, constantly, about inclusion and exclusion. It's like a big deal the ego. And it, of course it's based on form. It will interpret inclusion and exclusion based on certain forms. And, and with these prompts and these little assignments, you know, the reason it's kind of a new realm for you is because most of the world is just, it's very set roles. Here's the mother, here's the father, here's the children, here's the employees, and here's the managers and the bosses. You know, it's, it's like it's all just laid out. People almost show up to a scene and they just go, okay, what's cool? what am I supposed to do here? Oh, you're the employee. We want you back in shipping and you should have been there half an hour ago and, uh, and da 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 da, punch your time clock in, you know, to, so we know how much to pay you. Everything in the world, the, the ego sets up very rigid set roles and they, some of these roles go on for long periods of time. I mean, this stuff about mother, father, sister, brother, and parents and children. I, I met a woman one time who was, what's her name, the one up there, and who was in her 80s up in Iowa. I can't think of her name, but she was like a long-term uh, course miracles student. And she was like, up in her upper 80s and I, I would go visit with her and she'd say, oh, and she was going through all these issues with her son, who was like, like in his 60s. <laughs> and you, you could have just, if you didn't see their faces or whatever, you could think that this was like something, like a mother in her 20s and, or a, a teenager. And the it, it was just a, surreal how these roles, how rigid they are. You, know, you think most people start to get over some of these roles when, when the kids reach into their 20s or something at least, but it's like here he was 60, it was the same rigid roles going on. And what we're seeing is the Holy Spirit has to use these assignments to loosen the mind, to actually let go of, of these rigid constructs and concepts and roles, to take you to more expansive states of mind. and more broad self-concepts that approach forgiveness. So I guess for us, we're just kind of aware of these nuances and we've been practicing it for so long that it's just like, we can even put words to it now, because it's like, it's a way of, of interacting with the Spirit. And to the world, it's more like if you meet somebody and there's, 
and you feel this sense like, like, like you're supposed to spend some time with them, usually it's very awkward, because there's no role for it. You meet somebody in the grocery store, and you <laughs> can't walk up to them and say, I'm feeling a vibrational connection to you, and that, that we have an assignment. And they, yipes, they go running out of the, the produce section, you know, to get away as fast as they can, because there's no context for it. Here, you may meet somebody and you may feel like, I feel, hey, it's really, it's, it's nice to get to know you, or some, something comes, and we're just starting to give words to something else that the Spirit has there, that's very, very important, and yet it doesn't have a, a reference point in the past. And it can seem to the ego as very, very weird and strange, you know, like, what is this about? What, what am I, being, what is being asked of me? What does it mean? You know, the ego has a lot of awkwardness. Ego's getting undone, that's, it's quite awkward. <laughs> Uh, to the ego, and the ego is confused, <laughs> the ego is disoriented, yeah. yeah.